Hey Facebook friends, Lois with LA Grace's Attic here, live in the studio this afternoon. Um, it's been a little bit since I've been on. I've been missing you guys. Last time I think I came on, I was at the zoo in South Carolina. We had a wonderful trip, um, but it is good to be back home in the studio. Um, while I was on my trip, I went to a motorcycle event and I saw a few ladies that had refashioned their old t-shirts and I was really intrigued by that because um, if you guys are like me you have tons of t-shirts some are your old favorites some um, might be newer some you wear often some are kind of back in the closet for nostalgia like those concert t-shirts from your teenage years um, but anyway it's always fun to repurpose new things that's what we do here at Ellie Grace's Attic we give old treasures new life with handcrafted love it's our passion and so when I saw this I was like I have got to try that with some of my t-shirts so I've been playing around with a few ideas and we are gonna attempt this is my first attempt so if I screw it up you guys get to share that with me <laughs> so anyway um, if you can do this at home, you just use your imagination. You can go wild or you can do what I do and let that be your starting point. But um, anyway, like I said, it's great to be back in the studio hanging out with you guys. We've got several projects going on. One of them behind me here, a big sign that we're doing. Uh, several orders coming in for signs. But today we're just going to have a little personal fun. We're just going to have a, we're taking a personal break. We're going to have some fun. And we're going to refashion this t-shirt. All I have here is just um, a plain gray t-shirt. It's a, I think it's, it's not a girl's shirt. I think it's just a unisex medium. Go on Finn. Finn wants to help. So we're going to work on that. So I have my shirt. It's, you can tell it's right out of the closet. It's not ironed or anything. I mean, it's a t-shirt for goodness sake. So you don't have to prep it in any special way. So I'm going to lay it flat. I'm going to try to turn it around where you guys can see what I'm doing. And so I have my t-shirt. I've got it laid out on the dining room table, a nice flat surface. The only thing about this shirt is it doesn't have side seams. So lining it up might be tricky. Some t-shirts have side seams and some don't. So what I'm going to start with is the collar to kind of get that nice scoop neck just kind of lazy where it might go off the shoulder it might not but uh, you can wear an undershirt under it you know so your bra straps don't show so anyway I've got some good sharp scissors or at least they used to be sharp but hashtag kids so they may or may not it looks like I've got a sticky substance on here hopefully that won't <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully that won't, uh, won't mess up our progress. So what I'm going to do first is the collar. So I'm just going to take my handy dandy scissors and I'm just going to cut right below the neckline. Maybe half an inch or so. However low you want to go. Like I said, I'm going to wear a black undershirt under this when I'm finished with it. So I'm just going to start... I guess that's probably about a half an inch and we're just going to cut and if you're if you think you have someone that might want to see this video please share it give us some comments and some love if you're watching we'd love to for you to say hi give us a wave if you like our videos check out those three little dots at the top right Click on that click on live notifications turn those on and you'll get notified when we go live Sometimes you can watch it live, sometimes you can't. You can always just put replay in the comments if you're watching it later. I do that a lot. I'll see videos or get notifications and when I have downtime or I'm waiting in line, I'll put my earbuds in and catch up on videos. If you're like me, you're always waiting somewhere on children to get out of this or that. So you can see I just cut my collar off and don't worry that it doesn't have that nice rolled look right away what's going to happen is if you stretch it you see it's automatically going to start to roll and then of course as you launder it 
it will roll also. All right, so now we're gonna do the sleeves. And like I said, this shirt doesn't have a side seam, so just do the best you can to kind of get it flat. This is our collar once we cut it out. So now we're gonna work on our sleeves and try to get it evened up. And you can go as short or long as you want. Um, these sleeves probably hit normal t-shirt size, so I'm gonna take them up kind of halfway where it's almost like a cap sleeve. So what you'll do, and I'm just gonna go in, this is probably maybe an inch, inch and a quarter. We're gonna cut off. We're gonna just cut this straight up. Try to stay the same distance all the way up. You can see I do not have a tape measure. I am not a seamstress. I'm totally eyeballing this because, hey, we're having fun, right? This is kind of like distressing your jeans, which I have done, and it's a lot of fun. I love to um, thrift shop to get, uh, find, you know, cool fashions and consignment shops and thrift shops and whatnot, and so I love repurposing old clothes as well. Uh, putting pins in blue jeans or distressing them or dyeing them or whatnot. Okay, hang on just a second. Let me adjust the lighting there. So now once you cut off one sleeve, you just take the piece that you cut off and that can be your guide for your other sleeve because hey, we want to work smarter, not harder, right? So I'm just going to put that on the t end of my other sleeve and I'm left-handed, so I'm gonna turn this bad boy around just so I can make it a little easier on me. And so now, let's see, get it where you guys can see it good. I'm just gonna kind of, I'm not pinning it again, just using it as a general guide. So cutting down. This is fun to do. You can do this and make your own workout shirt, so you can just do it for fun, because um, you can dress these up too. All right, so I've got that. I've got my sleeves cut. So you'll see there's my sleeves and my neck are cut out. Now we're gonna do something crazy with the back. We're gonna pretty much cut out the back. But again, this shirt does not, um, I think I'm gonna cut the bottom off too. But I'm gonna do that in a minute. I'm, going, I'm thinking of new ideas while I'm working here. Now we have to kind of make this shirt like sideways. So we're gonna, we're gonna turn it and do it like this, where your sleeves are what's facing up. And you're gonna lay it flat again. You're gonna, you see it has seams inside the shoulder seams. All shirts have shoulder seams. You're gonna line up those shoulder seams. So you're, when you're looking down on your shirt, you're actually looking at the side, if that makes sense. I hope so, because I'm trying to teach you how to do this so you can do this at home. All right, so when you get it as flat as you can, you know, try not to get, because you don't want to, we're going to be cutting right here, and you don't want to like cut your other sleeve. <laughs> that would be bad. And if I do this, do as I say, not as I do, right? That's what my that's what my mom used to say. Okay, which is really bad, but you you get the idea. Don't repeat my mistakes is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I've got it as flat as I can. I don't have any of the back sleeve hanging out under here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I am going to just make a series of like one inch strips. I'm gonna cut slits. Um, and I'm gonna start maybe about four inches in. You can see that I'm gonna try to turn it down just a little bit and try not to lose you. So I'm gonna cut one inch strips and I'm gonna go in, I guess that's about four, four and a half inches. And then I'm gonna decrease the size as I go down, okay? So we're gonna, what's gonna happen is we're gonna end up with a big slit and then they're gonna kinda invert like that. 
go into a V. So without further ado, here we go. And again, I'm not measuring. I'm totally just eyeballing. I'm probably going to come down about four, in, four inches or so. All right, I'm going for it. That's probably actually way more than that, but all right, now I'm going to go down. We're going to call that an inch. Don't judge me. Again, I'm not measuring. Okay. All right. Hey, Lindsay Yarbrough, you've probably done this at home or a variation of it. I feel like I didn't go in far enough. Hold on. Maybe. Maybe not. I might have to come in just a little bit more. Just because I've got a ways to go down the shirt. So I don't want to, I don't want to get, you know, give myself a little room. All right, so we're just tapering down. Now the tricky part is if I can be, I saw some, one, somebody did a fancy loop-de-loop -loop situation, so we're gonna see if we can't pull that off here in a minute. All right, y'all talk amongst yourselves. You can tell I'm concentrating. <laughs> Oh gosh, I cracked myself up. Y'all are gonna have to say a quick prayer because sometimes I get these bright ideas and then about halfway through, I'm like, you know, I really don't know what I'm doing and I don't. So we're learning together. Can I just tell you? That's the fun, especially when you're crafting, right? Learning together. We have just been having fun this summer over at Ellie Grace's attic doing all the projects. I had more new projects, I think, this summer than I have for the first six months of the year. It's just always fun getting custom orders and different things. Instead of, um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love doing inventory and being creative, but it's just always fun to get new stuff in. Okay, we're getting close to the bottom. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Now, I kind of made this one a little probably too wide. I'm not going to go all the way down. Okay, so we have all of our slits cut. They're about an inch or so. Don't judge me because <laughs> I didn't measure, but you get the idea. I just cut these slits at the top. I can't really show you. And I started go about my widest slit in here. And then I came down about an inch and I cut another slit just shy of the top one. So we're tapering down. You'll see it kind of tapers down. So I started out with a big slit and I tapered all the way down to the smallest slit. Okay. So now what we're going to attempt to do is tie the back. So now we're going to do it. So see, now I have a bunch of slits and you know, it really would be cool if you kind of left it like that and just, uh, you know, wore undershirt uh, on it. Um, I think most of you that follow me know, if not, I'm about to tell you, my husband is a member of a motorcycle club, so to have t-shirts like this, I mean, that's what you call, like, automatic air conditioning, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to get a breeze when you're on the back of the bike, so that's cool. So now what we're going to try to do, again, attempt, we're going to kind of stretch our material out so it kind of gets those nice little curlies rolling happening okay so you kind of just pull it and stretch it like so and the beauty of this project let me just tell you is it's just a t-shirt it's just an old t-shirt so if i totally screw it up 
I just lost a t-shirt, but I've got about a hundred others. Technically, though, technically, I mean, let's be honest. If I do totally screw it up, oh, I got a little string here. Let me cut that. Sorry, squirrel. If I do screw it up, it's still not a total waste because I learned a long time ago from my grandma that t-shirts make the best dust rags. They also are good for staining. If you're a sign maker like me, they're great for staining. All right, so now, see if we can do this magic. You're supposed to take this. This is gonna tighten up your shirt just a little bit. It'll pull, pull it together, the fit. So you wanna do this on a shirt that is a little bit looser on you because it is gonna pull it together just a little bit. So we're gonna take the first strip and make a hoop out of it. Kind of like that, you're just gonna pull it and turn it so you've got a hole. And then you're gonna take the next hoop and pull it through and make a hoop like that. So basically you're just pulling these through each other, okay? So you pick up the next strip and pull it through the hoop pick up the next strip, pull it through the hoop, and so on and so forth till we get to the bottom. I don't think I was supposed to, was I supposed to twist all those? I don't know, we're gonna go with this. Okay, because I only twisted the top one. Oh well, we're learning, right? Okay, pull that through. It's kind of cool looking though, I have to say. Whoop, whoop. All right, so now I gotta tie that one. Okay, when you get down, or do I do that one? Nope, I'm gonna pull that through and I'm gonna cut the bottom. When you get down to the last strip, which is this point is the bottom of my shirt, you're gonna cut that one. No, you know what, I'm not gonna cut the bottom. I'm gonna cut the last strip. I'm second guessing myself. You just cut the last strip in half, okay? And then you're gonna run it through, voila, and you're gonna tie a knot, maybe. I probably should have done that, hold on. We're gonna do this. I probably should have cut through the bottom layer, but I didn't, so I'm put picking it up, and I'm gonna tie a knot. Maybe if I can get it to do what I want to. Okay, y'all bear with me. Tie a big knot. Nope, I don't like that, hold on. I'm untying it. I picked up that very last layer, and I didn't like the way it looked, so now I'm gonna undo it. Except and I tied it really tight. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Have any of you guys ever refashioned a t-shirt? I know Miss Lindsay probably has. Okay. Maybe if I just keep it in the middle, that's gonna work. Okay. I'm kind of excited to, to do this on some other shirts. Okay, I'm tying that knot. <clears throat> I guess I need to tie a double knot just so it's gonna stay in the laundry and everything. All right, so now you can kind of pull it out a little bit. And again, this is just a fun way to repurpose an old shirt. The more you stretch it, the more it's gonna get that kind of rolled look. And of course, when you launder it, that'll happen as well. So you can kind of just stretch it out and stretch your sleeves out. This is a fun project to do with kids too. If you have little girls, this is a fun summer project for them. Or if you just want to get together with your girlfriends and redo some old shirts and have a glass of wine. That would be fun too. Although, if you have wine and scissors, that could be a bad combination. 
All right, so this is our <laughs> this is our t-shirt. You see, we cut the sleeve and or the sleeves. That's the collar, Lois. So we cut the collar. We cut the sleeves. This will be really cute with a black undershirt under. And this is the back. So see, it kind of it kind of pulls it tight. So make sure you get a shirt that's just a tad bit loose on you, depending on how you like the fit. So that's super cute. And how easy was that? We did that in like 20 minutes, girls. So what a fun idea. This would be cute for a workout shirt, um, which I might wear it to the gym. And see, you can you'll just get a little peekaboo, so it's not too crazy. But I thought about doing some slits up here too, just so, you know, if you have an undershirt, it'll kind of peek through. And, um, but I don't want to mess with the words, so depending on your shirt. So anyway, that was fun. That was fun. Maybe I'll come back with some different t-shirt designs because, yeah, I'm thinking of all kind of crazy ideas now. But anyway, I hope you try to do this with your old shirts. This is a fun thing to repurpose uh, your old shirts, give them new life. And I'm going to wear this. We're going to be on the bike this weekend, so I'm totally going to wear this this weekend. And I'll take a picture and post it. So you guys uh, share this with your friends if you think they want to try this project or if they have little girls and want to try it for sure. Um, click on the live notifications. Give us a like and some love. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit this afternoon. And until I see you again, happy crafting. Take care. Oops. Zoom in.